All right, boys and girls, so as you can tell, we're with this gorgeous machine right here. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is we are going to go ahead and uh, pull the drain plug, um, which I've already done. I should have waited, but I was in a hurry. Cause you know, you get excited when you start working on stuff that you love, like this old thing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get back under there. I'm gonna show you where it's at, um, what size socket, uh, what you should do if it's stuck because with it being an aluminum plug you probably too hard you ain't gonna have nothing there to grab a hold of so um, we'll get down there and I will show you okay okay so we are underneath now let me get this situated okay so here's cross member engines up there there's your flywheel so there's your plug there's a plug on the other side about halfway up it's for filling or checking whatever you want to call it um, so these take three, what is it? 3.38 quarts of, uh, Mercuron, uh, ATF fluid. Um, and this sock, this right here takes a seven, eight socket. Now it was, I wasn't going to take the chance of it being stuck, stuck. So I got this stuff that they call deep creep, which is 500 times better than WD-40. I 100% believe it now. Um, so I sprayed that on there like two or three days ago. That's what all that line of oil sub substance is. And on the drive shaft. Um, <clears throat> so I just got down here with uh, a pretty good sized breaker bar for whatever reason. Because that's probably the only one I could find. Um, and it broke loose pretty easily. So... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to let that drip for a little bit longer and then we will go ahead and put the plug back in and then we will uh, go back inside and well we actually we might fill it up first so I can show you guys how to do that. Now nah, we'll just go inside and rebuild it. Um, so yeah I will talk to you guys in a second. All right, guys, so <clears throat> it stopped dripping. Um, oh so yeah, that's 3.38 quarts or whatever. So we're putting the plug back in real quick. Uh, let me see if I can do this with my hand because my tripod will not fit underneath the truck. Well, it will, but it will not fit where I could take videos for you guys. So I'll go ahead and put that in real quick. Okay, since it's dark enough, the light had to come on, but there's that. Um, don't tighten it too tight. Just get it. I would say when it snugs up and then snug it just a touch more and then that'd be it because aluminum case, aluminum plug, you won't have threads. Don't do that. Um, so we'll go back up top and we'll go ahead and fill this bad boy for you. And then, uh, we'll go rebuild the top. Okay. Alrighty guys. So, um, we're going to be, since this thing is making a weird screeching noise, or I shouldn't say screeching, more like a, a light grinding. Um, since this thing's been leaking forever, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some gear oil in there. Cause it's not gonna hurt it. I mean, hell, it might actually help it out. But we're gonna put a quart of that in there. Let's go ahead. And then, like I said, we have Mercuron. Um, I have three quarts of it. We're not going to need three quarts. 
Um, so I guess as soon as that's done, I will get back to you guys, and then uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so the gear oil is in there now. Let's go ahead and let that do its thing. Get the next one ready. And at one point I thought this thing was leaking a lot of oil, but apparently I was wrong. Because with how much came out of it, it must have just been splashing it a little bit and, you know, calling it good. So, um, you know, when you rip the tops open, that's what happens. So, so we're done with that. So that's, that's three quarts. So we're only gonna put half half of this one in here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and leave this one in here, but since, you know, the squirrels decided to live in my damn truck, and I let them like a retard I am, um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and clean all this shit off real quick, like, make sure everything's out of there. Um, yeah, obviously we're gonna have to scrape all this bullshit off. But that's okay. That, that'll be when we get done. So that's done. Plugged up. So nothing will get in there. Um, so yeah, we will take that inside and start building it. All right, boys and girls. So as you can tell, we got that. Um, I got the other ring and uh, rubber piece off. So we're going to go ahead and rebuild that real quick, get it put back in the white truck. And uh, Blake should be here. He wants to start welding a little bit. So we're going to do that. And uh, yeah, so I'll get to doing this. All right, guys, so um, so what happened was um, the little plastic tabs that were on that, since obviously I got the new shift boot on that bad boy, um, what happened was when I went to put it in, I was taking a video, um, and I tried to pop that back out because something, I'm trying to think something wasn't right. Oh, because I forgot that the, there's a gasket. It goes between that and that here. I'll show you. It'll be easier to show you. So there's a little, the two little plastic tabs. They go on either side of the shifter itself to make sure, you know. Hang on a second. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Now we're in the show. Okay. So there's a there's two plastic tabs okay, that go on here to make sure this isn't all wiggly giggly whatever. The old ones weren't really bad, but whatever. Um, so I put that in there and I forgot there's a gasket that sits right between here and here. So I went to pull it out and I dropped one of those plastic tabs down in the transmission. So I had to pull the whole tunnel off which is why this is all open now. And then um, I had to reach down in there with the free tool I got for working on my aunt's minivan because the tech left it on there. Um, but I reached down in there and I pulled it out. <clears throat> and then I went and got me some of this 90 minute gasket maker, which was $17 for this little tube. Um, but I went ahead, scraped this off, scraped that off, um, put the gasket maker on, put the gasket on, put gasket maker on top of the gasket, then put this on, and then I tightened it down so it started squeezing out. Did the same thing with this, um, and then waited an hour, and then just tightened everything down the way it's supposed to be. So, that should be everything. Even if you're just changing your oil, you don't have to go that far. 
All you gotta do is pop this off, put gasket maker on it once you're done, put it back on, should be good to go. So, uh, <clears throat> if you guys enjoy the videos, <clears throat> make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, yeah, we'll be back to uh, building custom shit and doing cool things back in the future. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit.